And it looks like we do have cars lined up in the pre-grid area. I see the BMW of Steve Walker, car number one, the double six of Tom Clark, 71 Tom Breest, 51, that's Taz Harvey. And it looks like Jim Lenahan there in the orange uh, Porsche 914 6 with the black top. Cars coming out on course now, out through Gasoline Alley. It is the one of Walker in the BMW CSL and the 66 of Tom Clark in the Porsche 911 on the front row. Pair of Porsche 914 six cylinders on row two, the 71 of Tom Breest, the 3A of Jim Lenahan. Row three, the 51 of Taz Harvey in the Datsun 510, and the second BMW 3.0 CSL, number three, Bill Glavin. Fourth row, 26, Kent Prather in a BMW M3, and the Datsun 240, or excuse me, Kent Prather in the MGA, the 32 of Kevin Rubel in the BMW M3. For row five, the 18 of Howard Roth in a Datsun 240Z, the 22 of Rob Davenport, Davenport in an Alfa Romeo GTV. Sixth row, the 89 of John Putnam II in an RX-7, and the Toyota Supra, number 94, of Ron Pauley. For row seven, the seven of Larry Klemecki in a BMW 2002, and the 62 of Alex Rourke in a Lotus Salon. For the eighth row, it's the 35 of Andrew Cannon in a 1971 Alfa Romeo GTAM, and the 06 of Scott Berkland in a Porsche 911. Ninth row, the double seven of Kristen Poole in a Porsche 914 6, and the 13, Deborah Briscoe in an Alfa Romeo GTV. For row 10, the 32P of Tiffany Lorton in a 1992 Camaro Z28, and the Porsche 944 Turbo of William Ironside, that's car number 56. Grids complete with the 11th row, the 29 of Dale Osterley in a Lotus Salon S2, and the Porsche 911E, number 58, of John Kish. 22 drivers scheduled for the green flag start, and it looks like we've got 20 out of 22. Not bad. Car is bobbing and weaving there on the back straight, trying to get a little warmth into the tires. Probably making sure the lug nuts on the front wheels are tight, too. Car is just now entering turn 12. Pace car should peel off into the pits and leave this whole thing under the control of the number one BMW and the 66 of Tom Clark. The two Porsche 914 sixes on the second row, 71 Breest, the 3A of Lenahan. Coming down towards the start, starters taking a look at him, a good long look, and the green flag waves. We have a start and getting the jump there, the number one of Steve Walker. The 1973 BMW CSL. 
Headed down into turn one, the double six of Clark in the Porsche 911 follows. Then it's the yellow number 71, the Zotz Racing Porsche 914 six of Tom Breest, followed by the Datsun 510, number 51 with Taz Harvey behind the wheel. So a good jump at the start for the number one of Walker. Clark distances himself in the number 66 from the 71 of Breest. Here comes that Dotson 510 of Taz Harvey, number 51. And then we get to the other portion, 914-6, the 3A of Lenahan. Lenahan in a drag race with the MGA of Kent Prather, Prather in car number 26. Cars still bunched up pretty good on the back section. They're down the back straight, headed towards turn number seven. Walker, your leader. Black, red, green. A little bit of white thrown in there for good measure on that BMW 3.0 CSL. A lot of cars coming to Indianapolis Motor Speedway out of the Pacific Northwest, and your current leader, Steve Walker, is one of them. 66, Clark. 71, Breest. 51, Harvey. The 3A of Lenahan. Those are your front five as they head into turn number one for the second time. And problems for the MGA, number 26 of Kent Prather, as he is pulling way off to the side of the racetrack, still on the racing surface, and we'll see what that does for uh, any safety issues. It's Walker, Clark, Breest, Harvey, Lenahan, your front five. They head through turns eight and nine there's the battle going on for second place. Tom Clark in the 901 shop Porsche number 66, the blue Porsche 911, the yellow number 71, that's the Zotz Racing Porsche 914 six-cylinder of Tom Breest. They're through 12, headed to 13. And we just caught a glimpse of your leader, Steve Walker, just racing right out of the frame. And down around 13 through turn 14 and onto the front straight. Walker now passes by start finish. As here comes the second place car of Clark, now shown 3.9 seconds back from your leader. And the third place car, the yellow number 71, a further one second off the pace of second place. Got a pair of BMWs running. The number seven of Larry Klemecki in the BMW 2002 and the number 32 of Kevin Rubel. Rubel running a 1998 BMW M3. BMW 2002, always a fun car for me. I own several of them. No race cars, but uh, a fun street car to buy and to drive. Trying to get underneath, we've got that uh, M3 of Kevin Rubel, number 32, and he's now looking to pull up alongside, has to slot in behind him. It's kind of deceiving when you see the long shot down this straightaway with the lens, but now the uh, 32 of Rubel has gotten around the BMW 2002 of Larry Klemecki, number 7. Walker, your leader. Two laps complete, working lap number three. And uh, there he is, getting the job done at the front of the field.
His fastest race lap was the one just completed, a one minute, 45 seconds flat. 83.3 miles an hour for your front runner, Steve Walker, in the BMW 3.0 CSL. No change in the running order through the front seven. It's the one of Walker, the 66 of Clark, 71 Breest, 51 Harvey, the 3A of Lenahan, Ron Pauly in car number 94, Pauly driving a Toyota Supra, the 89 of John Putnam II in the Mazda RX-7, and then we come to our first change for position, and that was the one we saw with the 32 of Kevin Rubel in the BMW M3 getting around the BMW 2002 of uh, number seven, Larry Klemecki. Completing the top 10, car number 22, Rob Davenport, Davenport in her Alfa Romeo GTV. Three laps complete, working four, total of eight for this race. That race for second place is still heating up. One second separating the 66 and the 71. 66, Tom Clark is in second. The 71 of Tom Breest in third. It's Porsche versus Porsche. The 911 and the 914-6. They're on the front straight again, and we'll see who's got the oats as they head down the front straight. Point four, four tenths of a second separating those two now as things are tightening up a bit in that race for second place. Steve Walker continues at the front. He's got 6.3 seconds over second place. Tom Clark in the 66. And uh, Clark has about four-tenths of a second over the 71 of Tom Breest. Breest running in third place. Completing the top five, the 51 of Taz Harvey and the 3A of Jim Lenahan. They both have some breathing room there. They're running about uh, five seconds uh, with five seconds of space around them. So things are pretty secure for them if everything w runs the way it should. Want to thank all those folks that uh, put in bids at the silent auction for the National Time Machine, that autographed Unser Legends Johnny Lightning replica bi uh, motorcycle. As you may recall, all the proceeds benefiting the Unser Racing Museum in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and the winning bid for that motorcycle. It started out back at $2,000. By the time it was done, we raised $8,500. $8,500 for the Unser Racing Museum in Albuquerque. Our thanks to the folks at National Moto and Cycle for putting that bike together and an amazing paint job on there. Great tribute to the Johnny Lightning Special that Al Unser drove to Victory Circle in the Indy 500. A little bit of breathing room now for second place Tom Clark in the number 66 Porsche as he now has seven tenths of a second lead over third place, the number 71 of Tom Breest. Steve Walker's running quick out there. He's got seven seconds over second place. Walker in the black 
BMW number one that's been leading since the drop of the green flag. 51 Harvey in fourth. Lenahan in the number 3A Porsche 914-6 is in fifth place. Sixth through tenth, the 94 of Ron Pauly in the Toyota Supra. We also have the 89 of John Putnam II in a Mazda RX-7. Kevin Rubel in the number 32, that's the BMW M3. The BMW 2002 of Larry Klemecki, number 7, running in ninth. And in 10th place, number 22, Rob Davenport, and Davenport is driving an Alfa Romeo GTV. We're at the last lap portion of the show for this gr uh, Group 8 and 12A race. Steve Walker, car number one, is your leader. The 66 of Tom Clark, seven seconds back in uh, second. The 71 of Tom Breest, one second off of uh, the second place car of uh, Clark. And the checkered flag waves to your race winner, the number one of Steve Walker in that black BMW 3.0 CSL and look at the finish for second. That tightened up a lot on that last lap, just two tenths of a second separating the 66 of Clark from the 71 of Breest as our race winner Steve Walker enjoys that cool down lap and the trip to the winner's circle here at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. 51 Taz Harvey finishing in fourth in the Datsun 510. And completing the top five, the 3A of Jim Lenahan. Lenahan in a uh, Porsche 914-6. Well, I th certainly think that's uh, one battle that uh, Breast and Clark are going to talk about on the podium when they get there. So, certainly a spirit spirited battle throughout the whole race between those two Porsches as they battled for a second place.
they just had a great time out there. And what a tight finish, too. Just down to a couple tenths of a second. Six through 